Good afternoon and Merry Christmas everyone. I'm Stan Saver and welcome back to Root Sports coverage of the Santa Claus Press Conference. After a very disappointing holiday season in 2011, the general manager of the North Pole, Mrs. Santa Claus, decided to solicit some help and so she's called upon Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin to prepare Santa and his reindeer for Christmas 2012. So we take you now to the North Pole for the Santa Claus press conference with Mike Tomlin to prepare the Elf Media. Good afternoon. Let's start with our performance last year, 2011. We acknowledge that it was unacceptable. We left a lot of presents on rooftops. We failed to wrap up gifts when given the opportunity and we aspired a better situational present delivery mechanics going forward. Uh, that being said, Santa Claus and his reindeer are very excited about the opportunity for a better present delivery performance this Christmas Eve. I'll gladly not take your questions. Coach Tomlin, what do you think caused Santa all those problems last year? Uh, obviously, it was a combination of factors. Uh, first and foremost, it was very foggy Christmas Eve. That's never desirable circumstantial obstacle to navigate through, which is why we signed Rudolph from the practice squad onto the active roster for next week's flight. He'll take the place of Comet, who's been suspended this Christmas for conduct unbecoming to the reindeer. Coach, uh, what did Comet do? We prefer to take care of our business in-house. Coach, uh, Coach, uh, did huh? Comet's suspension have anything to do with his recent tweets that were sympathetic to the radical arm of the island of misfit toys? <laughs> Again, we like to keep this matter in-house. Uh, his performance is below the line. The standard is the standard. It is what it is. He did what he did. Stupid is as stupid does. Right entirely, left to lose it. A penny saved is a penny earned. Burden hand worth two in the bush. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Next question. <laughs> Coach, uh, can you tell us a little bit about Rudolph? Uh, Rudolph is Rudolph. Uh, he's a red-nosed reindeer. He's illumination capable. Uh, he hasn't seen as much situational action yet as other reindeer have been reluctant to let him play in their games, but we feel he's poised to go down in history as one of the all-time greats, as many have gleefully shouted. Uh, we're expecting another foggy Christmas, Christmas Eve, and he does what Santa asks of him, which is to guide his sleigh at night with his nose so bright, and he does so with a North Pole caliber. Next question. Yeah, uh, Coach, uh, Coach, over here. Uh, how, how much of a role did the Bumble play uh, last year in disrupting Santa's game plan? Uh, the Bumble is the Bumble. Uh, his resume is his resume. He's vertically disruptive. Uh, he's had his run in with Rudolph. Uh, those two are no strangers. He's a hairy Yeti-like figure that seeks to contain Santa at the ground level before he achieves liftoff. And make no mistake about it, he is abominable. Coach, how do you plan to keep the Bumble at bay this year? Uh, we believe he has a bad tooth. And as such... <laughs> As such, Dr. Jim Bradley and Herman the Elf are going to perform a tooth extraction <laughs> in the hopes that it will make him less reactive to the red light of red nose, shiny nose, red Rudolph's shiny nose. Yeah, but is that going to work? Uh, we optimistically anticipate that our situational preparation will be beneficial in implementing the necessitative technique-based performing abilities to obtain distributive Christmas present success at the desired level. What? what? Thank you, and Merry Christmas. 